Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> What's up, guys? There you go. Well, let's make friends with the AV team right away and blow out their speakers. I just want to make sure the microphone works. How y'all doing? Yeah. So, did you guys enjoy opening ceremonies? That was exciting. I walked, I, I, I left for like three minutes and all of a sudden there was a sword fight happening up here. Yeah! Is and I'm a... like, what happened? <laughs> it was the there trailer we go. for the <laughs> last <laughs> <Jedi. laughs> So, are you, uh, man, Babscon. Babscon. It's, it's on, 2017. How many of you, this is your first time at Babscon? Hey, hey, hey. Wow, a lot of hands going up. For those that hands went up, how many of you, is this your first convention ever? Hey! MLP convention, I'll, I'll clarify that. Okay, so hands are still going up. It's always cool to see the new blood in the fandom. Mm. And, uh, welcome, hope you guys have a great time. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on throughout the whole weekend. What? Are you from out of state? That's cheap. Now you're just bragging. Yeah, oh my gosh. Now you're just showing off that you've got your frequent flyer. Is, is there anyone else from out of state? Yeah. Oh, let's hear it. Where, where are you all from? Just shout it out. Texas. They're from blah, blah, blah. Did I hear Central Valley? Oh, okay, California. I heard Central Valley and I immediately thought of Lamb Before Time for some reason. <laughs> no shirty <laughs> teeth there. Valley. I'm from Utah. 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 Yeah. Atlanta, Washington. Utah, Utah, there's a lot of people from Utah. How many, just Texas. from a raise of hands, how many of you are from Utah? Okay, so it was only two. You we just have a few Utonians. <laughs> Is there anyone from out of country? Here. Where are you from? Germany. Germany. Very cool. I love your country. I went there a few years ago, and it's, the food's great. Donkashe, that means. Were you at Brony Fair when I was German. there? At Brony Fair, the, the convention out there, were you there? No? Oh, okay. Galicom. Ah, yep, Galicom's a big one out there. Nice. Well, cool. Well, we want to thank you guys for joining us here this morning, BabsCon. I just flew in this morning. Yeah. So. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> um, and it was actually my first time leaving for a convention the morning of the convention. Mm -hmm. So it was kind of weird, but, yeah. but it worked out really well. Yeah. Um, I'm here. You're here. And I, I flew with United. So. Yeah, I flew. I, 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 I gotta say, United, I flew with them from Georgia to here. They were on excellent behavior. You can tell they were like walking on eggshells, like, have peanuts. Have 20 peanuts, you know? Just don't film us. <laughs> Do you not see here on the plane that has it? Yeah, they had, they had a double whammy. They <laughs> scorpion. <laughs> It happens. Now they're putting scorpions in the peanut bags. Yeah, it must have been like. Was that United? Thing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oops. <laughs> it happens. The friendly skies. Oops. Well, as you can see, so this is a bit of a different panel as far as our setup goes. We have no table, and I don't think we really need one because that's just kind of kind of we don't want that barrier between us and you. We want this to be intimate. We want this to be fun. We're yeah. glad you're here. This is, of course, a YouTuber panel. So you guys can ask us whatever questions you want. We're Don't here. feel limited to asking only YouTube questions. You can by ask the way. us what our favorite, I don't know, anime is. <laughs> Corey in the house. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, and then, uh, so really this is just going to be us interacting with you guys for the next hour. And with the way we're walking around, it's kind of like a, you know, be a better you panel. You know, like, you guys can do it. You can be YouTubers as well. No, no, be louder than that. Yes! It's that kind of confidence that will make you the next Markiplier. How's that going for you? Terrible. Oh. I wanted my hair to be purple, and my little sister, she's a... Uh, a uh, hairstylist, she's still going to school. She said, Stephen, <clears throat> sorry, Stephen Spark, come to my uh, hair school and I'll dye your hair purple. I'm like, okay, it's pink. <laughs> Close Never up. again. <laughs> Never again. Um, so yeah, it's like we said, for the next hour, we're gonna be interacting with you guys, uh, answering your questions. Um, Don't be shy, have. ask whatever you want. And, and before we do jump into that, just a reminder for everybody, tomorrow we're gonna have a Bronies React panel mm -hmm. here. Um, we're also going to have some fun with Dusty Cat's Hoof Wrestling panel. Don't miss that. It's going to be outrageous. That'll, that'll be great. And then Sunday, Who's Line is back at Bats Gone. Woo! So Woo! we're very excited about bringing that back. Uh, last year we were supposed to do it, but Saber Spark jumped on the plane. I had to go home. Yeah, so it, unfortunately his flight was actually before the panel was supposed to start. So 
And just, just, we're good now. We're good. Be good. All right. YouTube so. questions, fire away. Any questions. All What's right. up? So, what is your guys' dream crossover? Dream, dream crossover. See, this is a good start to and, give people an idea way, of what kind of questions. Real quickly, are. I'm not sure if there's another wireless mic that the AV staff can spare, possibly. Uh, if not, that's all right. But if you guys have one, it'd be great for us to pass around to the audience so we can hear them. Just checking. Thank you. So our dream crossover, right? Dream crossover. Do you mean like just cartoon shows? Oh, look at this. You see this? Hey! So guys, actually, give well, a hand for the AV staff. For the next few questions. Um, heroes. Oh, absolutely. So what we'll do after we answer this question, anyone else that has a question, please join us up here. You line, can line up, warm line. Don't room. be shy. All right, we're, we're going to get through a few questions. If you are, we'll make fun of you for it. Yeah, everyone's like way too close. The proximity is, I think, freaking people out. Dream crossover. So that's it's kind of broad uh, for movies, cartoons. I, I, uh, hmm. It's tough. Zootopia? Uh, of course, of course, of course. And Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm here all weekend. Thank you. Uh, I don't know. I really can't. It's, it's just so broad. I don't know. One man, one punch man, and barbershop. I love it. What? Like the, the, the movie barbershop? Yeah, because he doesn't have hair. Sure, why not? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Why not? Sounds good. Right. Uh, if questions, guys, line on up. Don't be shy. This is all about interactive fun. Here. I have a question for you all. How many of you all have YouTube channels? All right, cool. I want you guys to line up and tell us Stabers, on the market. Spade, Spade, Spade. Yes, part. yeah, what's up? Um, actually, this question's for Race. Who, who, why is why? AC Race Best. Ace disgusting. Ace Red. <laughs> well, no one's well, behind well, me, well, so well, what's I'm the question? What's the question? He's in the bathroom. No, he's not. Yes, um, he is. So there we go. You see that? You tell me your question. Oh, I'm sorry. So, um, Race, I was wondering, what is your favorite thing about Zootopia? Well, to be perfectly honest, to be perfectly honest, uh, Zootopia is an overrated movie with dumb animals. And Sing's a much better movie. Everything. Look, okay, hey. now, now we got our We've got our volunteers. Who, who do we got here? What's your name? Um, my name's Leah. Hi there. Um, simple question. What's your favorite fandom OC? Fandom OC? I was going to say just Applejack, but I'm better than that. I'm better than that. Sorry. You're better than that. Okay. Have you guys ever heard of a musician called So Great and Powerful? If you haven't, he makes great music. Uh, he's been kind of away from the scene for a while, but he's got an OC that is adorable. And you can go Google it if you like to. You know who has a really good color scheme? Who? The OC for Babscon. Yeah, yeah. Is she, yeah the, Which Go, Which Golden one? Gates, the main one? Yeah, Golden, that one. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Just name. Time out. Time out. Um, what's yours? Um, what's my favorite fandom OC? See race best. Donald <laughs> <laughs> oh, Trump. <laughs> I'm not actually sure on that one because I have a bunch of them, but I'd have to agree with you that I love Golden Gates. There nice. You go. Thank you for your question. Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Princess Deadpool. Princess Deadpool. Hello again. Nice to see you guys again. Good to see um, you again. Well, actually, I just wanted to say thank you for the inspiration because uh, it was around BrodyCon last year when I actually threw the dress on again and uh, started doing reactions myself. Really? Right. Yeah. So what were you reacting to? Uh, pretty much everything. Well, ponies, of course. Yeah. Uh, ever hear of a show Rooster Teeth makes called Ruby? Yeah. Ruby. I think you got some fans behind you who support. I, I don't know that one. Oh, it's a really great show. Check it out. It's uh, on YouTube. Uh, yeah, but uh, I'm close to a thousand subscribers now. I got some special yeah. fans for it. Uh, the death battle for Death Loopers of Kiki Pie. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> Nice. So, uh, yeah, again, uh, thanks uh, for the inspiration, guys. Hey, thank well, you. good on you. You know, it's you all about you pull off that dress. You're beautiful. <laughs> Gorgeous. He, I mean, he, your hair is amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I'm always afraid of putting the sentence pull off and dress in the same <laughs> sentence. I've done it before. Not on Easter Sunday. What's your question? <laughs> so my name's Nate, and my question is, how did you, because AC makes the Broner's React videos, like he compiles them, where, where did you ever come up with that idea and how would like the logistics of how do I contact all these people to get their videos in and compile it and do all So that stuff? when I was in second grade oh, 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 here we go. I, uh, I had a 
ham sandwich and it was great. But the uh, answer to your question is, I the inspiration for the Bernie's React series was purely coming off Teens React series was purely kind of reactive to um, the Teens React that came out, the first one we ever did when they were reacting to MLP, or more specifically, yeah, the Fine Brothers were reacting to Bronies essentially. And I'm like, you know what would be fun? Just because of like the way that their video went, I'm like, it, I think it'd be kind of funny if we did a react to their reaction to the fan base. Inception. Bwah, bwah. There were a lot of those jokes. Bwah. Yeah, bwah. And so that's where the idea came from. It was, it started out as a parody, as a joke. And it, <laughs> oh, it's still a joke. It's, thank you, thank you, honey. Uh, but it's, <laughs> it was, it, the success of the first video is what spawned the idea of, oh, maybe we should do more of these. And it kind of just grew from there, um, kind of an ever evolving series. So yeah, it started out as a joke, as most things in my life do. And uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> thank you for your question. Yeah. What's up? What's up? So my name is Mark, and if you guys want to learn any fighting style, real or fictional, what would it be? Black Griffin. <laughs> this counts for fictional. <laughs> fictional. <laughs> I want something like slap food. Like something that will like make your opponent feel like demasculated afterwards, where they, yeah, 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 yeah. Where they're like, not only are you like, causing them physical harm, but you're destroying their morale. Like, you get slapped and defeated. Imagine Goku slapping Frieza. Actually, I think he did. <laughs> Slap was my answer. Wow. So we're both gonna do just fine. Perfect. Yeah. What's up? Hey, what's up, guys? My name's Robert. Hey. Hey, so I have a question. Was there any funny outtakes that, that you guys had when you did the Brody's rack? <laughs> <laughs> no, never. Some of them are lost media. Never So we've seen again. had um, a few that never made it to the public. <laughs> <laughs> um, we left them on the cutting room floor. Saber had one. Yep. At least. <laughs> there, there's been a couple that is like, that was too... This is going to bump our <laughs> Randy from a PG what, what happens, PG 13. What happens is when people are uh, sitting there with the camera and reacting, they'll be in their element but sometimes forget that they're talking to a very big audience. And sometimes they'll say something and be like, don't, don't use that. <laughs> Do not put that in. Um, so there, there's been some uh, outtakes. The favorite one I always bring up, though, is I once had to cut someone's entire footage from a Bronies React. And it was my friend uh, Henry, or Beavids. Anyone know Beavids out there? Good. All right. Who? <laughs> Who? Uh, I can't wait for his Minion series, by the way, that he's been working on for the past four years. But uh, he did this. It was with Starlight's first episode. And his idea was, I'm going to have this Russian spy break into my apartment and interrogate me brutally, violently. Underline, underline, underline. And, and that was going to be his whole shtick. And I'm like watching this and it made me uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm like, Henry. And he's like, I know you can't this use any of it. This is graphic. Huh? <laughs> it was, do you know what show we're it talking was, about? It was intense. So that was, that's my favorite one to bring up. Um, and then there's always the crystal ponies. And it will remain unfound forever. So yeah. Thank you for your question. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. What's up? Hi, uh, my name is Art. Uh, yeah. The question I had for you guys is, how do you guys motivate all your friends, and pretty much how do you get them together for Brothers Rank? Pretty much the micromanaging body. He gives us an ultimatum, actually. <laughs> Either we join, or he blackmails us. Yeah. Uh, with all the with all the footage we were just talking about. <laughs> Me race just reaches out to us saying, hey, time for another Burners React 2, this particular finale or a special episode. And then I guess if the person's free or not, they say, sure, count me in. Send their footage to him, that's it. Yeah, I've always, when I started this series, I always wanted it to be something that the reactors, I, I understand that doing a Bronies React isn't their job, isn't their priority. Everyone has jobs or is in school or has a lot of things going on, family. Friends, you know, there, there's other things besides the Bronies React. So I always try to work around everyone's schedules. Some schedules are longer than others. <clears throat> but, um, <laughs> by the way, just so you know in advance, there's, my a, premiere, is, on there's a premiere head. coming out tomorrow. Wow. Oh, tomorrow. Wait, yeah. so. yes. The season seven? Okay, I, I've been I just found out too, actually. Welcome it was a to joke. Brody. Apparently. No, so. Um, <laughs> 
here. Just record all of us. That'll be it, there we go. Yeah. There we go. One big one. Uh, what's funny enough, I think we're not allowed to technically do that. <laughs> I've, I've been at other conventions where you weren't allowed to do any sort of filming while while viewing an episode. I think it's just a copyright audio or whatever. But um, yeah, so essentially my goal is to make it as fun for everybody that's involved so they'll feel motivated to continue doing them. And we just kind of lit, I, I always like how you refer to it, like in Lord of the Rings where they start lighting up the, the beacons are lit. Yeah, <laughs> and so I just started contacting everybody in regards to the React that we're gonna be working on here maybe in the next week, so. So it yeah. begins again. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for your question. What's and, up? And it's me again. It is I you again. And now a proper question here with the microphone. You're all official. It's looking good. <laughs> Fire away. <laughs> all right. So, um, <clears throat> so this is a little unrelated to Brony's React, but uh, if My Little Pony were to get an official console game, what sort of genre do you think it might be? And DDR. <laughs> <laughs> and you need all legs, arms. <laughs> <laughs> that was, uh, that's how you do it. Save that one for who's on. <laughs> um, I, I was going to say, like, a Grand Theft Pony. Yes! <laughs> so what, you go to a farm and steal the pony? <laughs> Man, my apples! <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be like a, she'll be running the farm mafia. <laughs> yes. A very vicious gang. Yeah. May I offer my opinion? Yes. Okay. What's yours? So, if My Little Pony were to get an official console game, most likely Nintendo, <clears throat> I think that uh, My Little Pony should probably get something like um, either an RPG type game or maybe something along the lines of Legend of Zelda. What about a first shooter? First person yeah. shooter. Yeah. First per <laughs> Actually, they kind of have one. If you guys haven't seen it yet in the vendor hall, they have a virtual reality thing. Um, I always call, I refer to the guy as my favorite car salesman because he always has his like, jacket on. But uh, yeah, there's a, uh, last time I checked, you can shoot lasers at things with that. I actually slammed my head through a wall the last time I did it because I was so excited. I'm like, yeah! <laughs> so be careful. Dude, ow. Oh, fuck you. It's funny. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We did it for the vine. All right. So. <laughs> Thanks for your question. Yes. Uh, first thing, old meme. Second of all, hi, I'm, you, we met in the Bender Hall. Uh, we did. S Ninja, uh, YouTuber. S Ninja. And, S you gotta say it right. YouTuber and voice actor. And, um, <laughs> uh, my question was about uh, marketing, especially with YouTube channels. What is the best way to grow your audience and market your videos better? That's a big question. Uh, it's, it's different depending where you are with your subscriber count. So if you're, let's say, below 10,000 subscribers, your goal is just to gain as big of an audience as you possibly can. Um, don't concern yourself with, like, I gotta build a brand, an image immediately. Just no. I, 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 my suggestion is, is like, look for things that are kind of like topical, and try to, in a way, coattail, to coattail yourself after that. Like, hop on board, make a reaction to it, make a sketch comedy, whatever can be relatable, so you can show up in the recommended video tab. Yeah. Start, you know, nurturing your subscriber base, and after you kind of break that threshold, that's when you can go. Okay, moving forward, I want this to be my original character. I want this to be my shtick. Um, because starting off with a shtick, it can be difficult because you have you know, 100 subscribers and it's just kind of hard to grow it from there. I mean, it's not impossible. There's more than one way to shape a cat, which is a really weird <laughs> way of saying things. What weirdo came up with that? Making a zebra. You know, Terry, I was hungry, okay? Terry, there's more than one, one way to shape a cat. You, you quit vet school. You're done. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, along those lines, too, I always suggest to people um, to have attainable goals. Yeah. Um, when, when I started out, well, actually I'll, I'll say, um, just before I uploaded Brony's React, the first one, I had 167 subscribers. At the time, I was looking at other YouTubers going, man, what would it be like to have a thousand subscribers? Yeah. And you know, that's a big goal to hit. And then, and then once I hit a thousand, I'm like, there's no way I'd ever hit 10, is there? And then I hit 10, it was like, but I know that it'll, you know, 100,000 never. <laughs> Um, and you know now that you keep you keep wanting to, to set goals for yourself But also not live by those goals in a sense that it's like they're they shouldn't be the only driving factor that 
oh, you know, I'm not, I'm not gaining an audience as fast as I thought I would. Sometimes it takes a lot of time just to gain that and audience. There are times where you just discover what works for you. Like, it's very easy to be discouraged starting out, because you're like, I tried this, I tried reactions, I tried Let's Plays, I tried everything, and it's just not working. Everything. But the, the best thing about YouTube and starting off is there is, there's no limit to what you can do. You know, there's no upload limit saying, that's your one video for the week. It's like, no, go crazy. Well, well try, try, sh try. <laughs> <laughs> there is one upload limit that I found out about. Apparently you can't upload a video longer than 12 hours. Which is right now. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, I've, seen, I've seen longer, but. The long Bronies React. I, I'm pretty sure that, that rule went in place just because, yeah, it was a very long Bronies React. <laughs> I was reacting to uh, the whole show. Whole, the whole show. show. Steve Harvey's like. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Hopefully that uh cool. helps you out. Yeah, man. Thank you for the question. It. Yeah, thank you. What's up? Hello. Um, my name is Braden. I've been a Brony since January of 2016. Like an AA meeting. I've <laughs> <laughs> yeah. been a Brony since November of 2012. Yeah. Um, I, I was actually technically I have three questions for you. One, have you ever played a musical instrument? Two, how has the fandom shaped you over time? And three, can you do any voices from the show? I like those questions. The first one, musical instrument. I was a professional recorder player back in the second grade. <laughs> <laughs> like, they're, they're like, this is, this is an important part of your intellectual growth. And it's like, you mean just like literally just going, <laughs> that's I love hard as you possibly yeah. can. Yeah. So. Like a Nazgul screech. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. thought that the parents would have suffered through that in their audience. They're like, oh my gosh. <laughs> little Timmy is not talented. <laughs> Don't worry, little Timmy, you're still doing good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I like it when folks take the recorder and they do like Jurassic Park or Titanic. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, uh, I played piano for a hot minute back when I was like 12. <laughs> and uh, I think Row, Row, Row Your Boat was the height of my musical experience. <laughs> and my mother wasted money on that. <laughs> I, didn't play, yeah. I play guitar and I can play a few little brony riffs like um, Loyalty. I can play the intro to Rainbow Thrash. Nice. Um, got a few other things I can play. I'm Very not going to waste my time on that. <laughs> I think I'm wasting my time. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, the second question was, uh, what was the second question? Um, how has the fandom shaped you over time? It's, it's made me wider. Yeah. It's liberating. <laughs> uh, I love being able to see all the different kinds of faces in the world to be able to say, oh, look, they come in every shape and size, and they're all so kind deep down inside. And it's liberating the sense that I've been able to, <laughs> back in like 2010, I was talking to a professor of mine. I'm like, how do you get in front of the class and just talk to people? Isn't that nerve-wracking? Isn't that scary? How do you not stutter? And he's like, oh, you just get used to it after a while. Which, I've been doing this since 2011, and I've gotten used to it. So now I can go on stage and make a complete fool of myself and be like, yeah, it's fun. Who cares? Yeah. We're all having a good time. Yeah. Um, it's not like anybody's you know, uploading this to YouTube or anything. <laughs> I never would do that. Um, for me, it, I, I think it kind of confirmed a couple things. Like, I always knew I was outgoing. Um, and, and prior to working, uh, or I, I should say being at conventions, working on panels and all that, um, I was already on mic at the racetrack. I, I do race car announcing, for those that don't know. And uh, so, so it wasn't so much the audience. I already had to break through that barrier of, like, being on stage, talking to people. Uh, but I learned, I guess, I guess I've, the real growth came on the, uh, the creative side, because I always enjoyed making videos, but it was a matter of like sticking with it. And, and once, once the audience started to show up, it was like, okay, all right, now let's figure out what works. And I feel like I've really, I've, I've learned so much on the video editing side, like the stuff that I was doing back in 2012, 2011, it's like, whew way different. At least I like to tell myself that. I still use Movie Maker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's... A YouTube editor for me. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good one. Thank you, it's free. Yeah, yeah, good. And then your last question was... Can you do any voices from the show? Oh, I can actually do a really good one. You ready? Yeah. Tom the Rock. <laughs> Michelle taught me how to talk like Apple Bloom. I, d I just heard someone go, oh no. <laughs> it was Michelle. <laughs> I'm Apple Bloom. I'm Apple Bloom. 
That's very good. good. <laughs> you know, that's Actually, funny. that was closer than mine. So, thank you for your question. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Actually, it's really bad as you as you walk away. But the when we do Who's line, uh, sometimes we'll like get characters, and I'll always be like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk like Rainbow Dash. I'll talk. Ashley's like not in here, is she? No. Okay. <laughs> and I'll be like, hey, nah, 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 nah. okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> What's your question? So, Racy Ace Best and Saber Sparkiplier. Uh, I like it. I like it. Hello, it's Saber Sparkiplier. I like it. Hey, you have the hair, the face. You could probably do his voice. Pay to be in, paid to be an impersonator. Thank you. Anyway. Yes. You're going to make it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank God for other people's success. <laughs> What's up? So, um, who is, are some people, like maybe at least one for each of you, who that you would, from the fandom or something like that, that you would like to be on Bronies React that haven't yet? Um, Strictly from the fandom? I mean, you know. Do you guys know Jenny Nicholson? No. She's the, she's the Star Wars girl. She's the one who did like a pitch to, to Suicide Squad. Um, she has been doing my little pony stuff. She's part of Friendship is. Oh, I'm sorry. Friendship is witch. witch no, no, I can't say. It. Friendship, Friendship is, witchcraft. is witchcraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Well, so if you guys remember that series, she had a very big role in that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. She. It's. it's she funny. took off. She's. She's been like screen junkies and and just made a big name for herself doing like her Star Wars and Suicide Squad videos. Like if you type in Star Wars girl, you'll see her as one of the top results. And uh, but she's still as a fan of My Little Pony, which is funny because like when she does her Star Wars videos, it's getting like millions of views. Folks are like, "What's with the ponies in the background?" And she's like, "That's my past." <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, she uh, she's actually funny enough. Someone I run into at Disneyland every now and then will yeah. be like, "No, oh, Jenny, hi." <laughs> um, gosh, they're they're actually. I'm afraid to answer this question because there's a few people who I am in talks with right now. Negotiations. See, negotiations. Uh, to see if, if we can uh, get them on some Bronies Racks coming up. Um, I'm trying to think. Like, there, there's, been, uh, there's been a few people who I've asked in the past, and for some, for some like, I've talked to some musicians, for example, and uh, some of them, it's just, they're like, dude, music's my thing, on-camera stuff, no way. <laughs> so, and you know, I respect that. It's like, okay, it's not, it's not your deal. It's not what you're interested in doing. So there have been a few people who I've asked. I, I once asked uh, if you guys remember the Pony Dot Mob series. Oh my God. Oh! I asked, I asked Max. I'm like, hey, do you want to be on a, a React? And I, I didn't know what he was gonna say back. Like, I was expecting something harsh, and he actually <laughs> responded to me like, such Dear a, fellow gentleman. <laughs> yeah, he was like a, a, a straight up gentleman. He was just like. I really appreciate you contacting me. decline your... <laughs> he actually wrote it with a feather pen and everything. And I was like, wow, what a guy. But uh, yeah, so he was someone who I at one point talked to about being in one as well. So, um, But yeah, for him, he's like, I just, I don't, I feel like I would misrepresent the fandom. I'm like... <laughs> yep, you do you, man. You do you. Yep. Thank you for your question. Uh, honestly, though, I feel like maybe you should have... Uh, our lovely friend who was right here, Princess Deadpool, on sometime. You've already had Deadpool on. <laughs> I like how times. you're pointing. Oh, I think Princess. Where did Princess? They left. She they left never. before I could say it. Oh but. well, in that case, good. Oh, good. Out yeah. with you. I go film the second Deadpool movie. <laughs> yeah. And you've already had Deadpool on multiple times, so sure. <laughs> why not? That's true. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Anyway, thank you. Greetings. Hi. Um. My name is Jess, and I never thought I'd be this close to you to ask you a question, but um. <laughs> If if you could, are you in any other fandoms besides any other Marvel fandoms? Yeah. I'm a Republican. No, I'm joking. <laughs> uh, uh, I um, the I'll, United I'll, Airlines fandom. I like uh, <laughs> Crash. Wait, One no, Punch no. Man. I love yes. the show. Oh, Gr yes. I mean, very small fandom, but it, I love it. Yes. Uh, I, you're part of the Chip and Dale fandom. Yeah, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers. That was yeah. my first ever fandom that I was a part of, and there's a place. For those that don't know, called the Acorn Cafe, and that's like the hub for Rescue Ranger fans. So acorncafe.gov. Yeah, no, and uh, that's where the AC and my name came from. AC Race Fest, it stands for Acorn Cafe. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was I love that. Oh, <laughs> You're so disappointed, like, it's not air conditioning? Oh. It's AC. Sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh. Do, you, do you two happen to watch Steven Universe? Is yes, I, I do. You are amazing. The, the, the people who make that show are amazing. It's a great show. Rebecca Sugar's great. I think there's a Stephen Bomb coming out like this week, I think. I still laugh at the name Stephen Bomb. I know. It's, <laughs> it sounds so dangerous. Yeah. Especially when it leaks online. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. 
How about you? What are you a fan of? Um, I'm a part of uh, obviously My Little Pony and Steven Universe and Overwatch. Hey, Overwatch! Hey. Oh, Precise German engineer. I'm a McCree main. So. Uh, oh! <laughs> yes, <Scott>. Overwatch just, <laughs> just wow. came out with I'm a new uh, game thing. Yeah, it's called Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's basically like Man vs. Machine. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they're, they're straight up ripping off TF2, but they're like, yeah, who cares? <laughs> it's a fun game. Yeah. Any, any Hanzo mains in the audience? Oh, any what? I'm going to ask the to formally escort you off the premise. <laughs> Thank you for your question. What's up? Hey, Nate Scorbin, how you doing? Doing well, man. How are you? So, as reactors, per se, what are your thoughts on Mr. Beast Science Theater 3000, and if it applies, Fan Fiction Theater 3015? I haven't heard of the Fan Fiction Ooh. one. I know at Mystery Science Theater, like, this weekend, their new season begins on Netflix. They're yeah. it? It's back. It's on Netflix. They're like they have like Patton Oswalt and I think Felicia Day is on there. Let's get out of here and go watch. Yeah, I know. What are you doing here? Go, go. No. Um, it's. I think it, it it airs later today, or it's already online. And they uploaded. Or they Netflix has the library of the old like Mystery Science Theater stuff. The old school reactors. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You can watch that. Um, awesome. Uh, I guess those guys are the OG reactors of, of back in because I think they were all like a Milwaukee public access channel and they just kind of found popularity and blew up. Cool I, I, I just remember running into those way back in the day, the Mystery Science ones, just like when I was a kid and having no on idea sci-fi really channel. what was happening, but I loved it and I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> and I, um, some of that I actually pull inspiration from, um, like when doing the Bronies Rex or whatnot, just like, like I haven't seen any recently to like, oh, I'm going to use this joke. But they've, they've aged it really well. Yeah, so, and they still like put them in theaters and whatnot. Like I've seen a few where it's like, oh, here's an old school one we did. Yeah, I, I, find, the, I find it brilliant. Yeah, I, so that's I, I absolutely it. brilliant. Yep. Talk about like coming from humble beginnings. I mean, public access, and now it's like, Cult classic, yeah, and a couple of tropes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. MST 3K mantra. Packers <laughs> <laughs> won the Super Bowl. Awesome. Thank you it's for your question. Fiction. I should just relax. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What's up? Hey. How's it going, Daniel? Daniel. Um, Good to see you again. First off, Saber, you're very interesting. Right? Oh, you are very funny. You Thank sound you. like my psychiatrist. <laughs> Can I have a hug? I'm gonna I'm gonna save that hug for after this panel. If, if we if we walk save over bet. to you with our mics, they're gonna go next to the speakers, and everyone's not gonna hear for the rest of the weekend. But then yes, okay. yes. very loud. Absolutely. Write note, write us down right after this panel's done. We'll we'll get that hug. R S P. And did he? <laughs> Can I ask one last question? Yes. Of course. What has been your weirdest experience with the fan? <laughs> with a fan? Right now. No. Uh, All right. <laughs> su subscriber then. I uh, I know what yours is. Every time you look in the Can I tell the story? Please, you can uh, chime in. My mother. <laughs> Excuse me? No, so, uh, there's a convention called uh, MLP MSP, which is a convention in Minneapolis. It's, it's been discontinued, but we went there a few years ago, and we did a Brody's React panel, yep. and while we were on the, uh, up on stage, this one person in the audience was asking us questions, and it's weird, because they came up to the microphone there, and it was myself, Mike the Microphone, uh, Black Griffin, and Ray's on stage. And the person was like, hello, I'd like to ask Stephen, Jeffrey, Gabriel, and Mike a question. And he's like, why are you using our first names? Which is weird, it's Mike the Mike, not, not his real name, so he got that wrong. So he asked him- Didn't do enough research. He do his homework now. So he asked him weird questions and whatever. And he gave, he gave, like, me, he gave me a hood <laughs> ornament. <laughs> it's like a Which I'm like, like, did you put <laughs> this off in a parking lot? <laughs> I mean, it, we found out it was from M.A. Larson's car, so it wasn't a big deal, but. <laughs> it was a rental. Yeah. But, uh, so after the panel, uh, this person who, for some reason was called Emily, he, uh, he asked Race for a hug. And we, you know, we'll give hugs. It's fun to give hugs. Yeah. So and I'm standing like here's Ray's talking to Emily, and I'm kind of standing right here talking to somebody. I can catch it in my peripheral vision what's going on, and this guy is like kind of a hug, and Ray's like yeah, and he goes in. There was a time when hugs were so innocent, <laughs> and he just hug he, hug. he laid the wettest, sloppiest kiss <laughs> right on his neck. I could hear it, it like echoed. Like, <laughs> I've never had such an out of body experience. And I can see I his eyes going. Like, mm -hmm. 
And uh, yeah, Ray's got some tongue on his neck that day from a very gracious, generous fan. To which then we're like, we gotta go. And we started walking with our group back to our hotel room, and he was following us, which is kind of weird. He, he thought Jay Haller stole his Sharpie. He thought a friend of ours took his Sharpie, and we're like, walk faster, walk faster, walk faster, walk faster. And, we, and it was kind of like the scene from Jurassic Park where they're getting chased by the T-Rex, and they pull the flyer out like, <laughs> We did that with the Sharpie. We took the Sharpie, we threw it down the hallway to distract him. And fortunately, five minutes later, the Sharpie was gone, and so was the T-Rex. Yes, so. and he was gone. So that was definitely an interesting that was fun. Yeah. interaction that was for us good. all. Sorry. Hope you had to deal with that, right? It's, it's it makes right. for good storytelling and good fun. I actually told that story at work, and at one point I'm like, why am I telling this story at work? <laughs> I got a free kiss. <laughs> at a... I felt a beard against my... <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> What's up? I'm just going to say, that's going to haunt me in my nightmares. Oh. Trust me, it haunts me. So, <laughs> welcome. Anyway, good to see you guys again. Good to see you. I got three quick questions. Got our way. I had one. What is, of all of the series and movies, what made you laugh so hard you can't stop laughing? Out of like, hmm. Okay, so I remember I had a moment with uh, the first Ace Ventura movie that came out, the opening scene where he's walking around with the package and he's literally kicking it everywhere. When I was like 12 years old, I, I almost died from laughing at that scene. I'm like, this is the greatest thing ever. I've had a, a lot of other good laughing moments. But... Have you guys ever seen Kung Pao Into the Fist? Yes! I have that on my DVR. I got <laughs> you haven't seen it? I will. It's amazing. It's a scene where like a baby is lost and it's a little doll like crawling on the ground and this lady walks by and she picks up the baby like, oh, thinking it's gonna be taken in as an orphan. And the lady's like, oh, so cute. And she walks near a hill and just drops the baby and it rolls down the hill for like almost a minute where it's like, ah, 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 with all this dramatic music. And it just went on for so long that as a kid, I, was, I died laughing. And as an adult, I still die laughing when I see it. Yeah, for some reason, I just thought of this too. Um, there is a series, old, old internet series, of, uh, I forget who it was, but this guy took G.I. Joe videos. Oh, G.I. Joe PSAs? Yeah, and, and <laughs> the public statements, uh, and <laughs> there was those are, one. Those are like old, those are, that's like caveman internet yeah. history. And, and I remember, like, a few of those killed me, but one of them was the one, two, three. Uh, if you haven't seen the G.I. Joe PSAs, check them out there. Old school cool. Uh, it's, it's literally two minutes of some guy just in there going, just dubbing it over. <laughs> or the uh, birds were jumping in the back. Just... <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. My, my second question. Oh, yes. Sorry. My second question What are your favorite Who's Line uh, uh, games? Ooh. Uh, I, that's a good funny question. Funny enough, the game called Who's Line. Which will be performing on Sunday if you're all over there to see it. It's really funny. You guys uh, gonna be there? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Woo. I could tell some of them. Hey, so yeah. so I realized, by the way, I want to uh, point this out. So you know, we were like, "Hey, why isn't anyone forming a line?" I realized it's because they just got out of one. Yeah. <laughs> so, I thought. Yeah. Who wants to stand up and wait again? But. Um, yeah, Whose Line is a, a really fun one. That's a game where it's a scenario is given to us, and it's myself and Race, and we're giving a bunch of little sheets of paper that have lines that were submitted online to us, so we have no idea what the lines are. And during the game, where it's like, well, if there's one thing my grandma taught me, it's never wear socks or something like that. It's funnier than that, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> You're really <laughs> selling that one. <laughs> my, my favorite game, um, we're actually, I think because of logistics, we're not gonna be doing, but is Irish Drinking Song. Oh, and, uh, I, 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 because I, that one, I, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, that one, there's, I don't know, man. They, it, all, it usually, in about 90% of the time, it just devolves into utter like, I couldn't hear what you said. Yeah. But, when, I, but the 10% time where, in which it's still kind of goofy to see us mess up. It's like, hey, roll with it. But the 10% time where it actually works is like, mm, beautiful art. Oh, yeah. At least I think so. It, yeah, then we're like, wow, we're so good at this. <laughs> What's your third question? My final question is, I don't know if you're into football. What are your favorite football, what is your favorite football team? The Dodgers. <laughs> Republicans. <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs> Thank you. No football then, okay. <laughs> I would say the Falcons, but they've let me down. 
That's a drawer, Jim. They really let me down. I'm with you. About 25%. That's the, that's the one where they kick the ball on the ground? And, yeah, and then they kick their spirits on the ground, too. Oh, yeah, Team USA. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Thanks. you. Hello. Yo, Ocean here. AC Race Best. Who is better? Um, Judy Hopps from Zootopia. There's your answer. Yeah. Or... Rainbow Dash. Judy Hopps. Oh, yeah. That's it, man. Yeah. It was already I like how there's some people who are like, what? What? <laughs> what? Ashley's like, what the hell? Like, Don't fly out of yourself. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Oh. Get out of here. Nice tell, by the way. I like your outfit, by the way, man. What's up? Hey, guys. My name's Nathan. Hey, right, Nathan. Uh, Two-parter. Two how did you get M.A. Larson onto the season five Cronies <laughs> React? And do you think you could ever get Lauren Faust? We found oh. out what the A really stood for in his name, and we threatened to blackmail him. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, for M.A. Larson, <laughs> what's funny is uh, some people don't know this, or maybe a lot of people don't know this, he actually came to me and said, Race, promise not to tell anybody I ever asked. Which is, I'm holding. So we're telling everyone that he asked. So we're telling everybody. And he's like, I kind of want to be part of your I want series. It. What does it take? So I, I, After a down payment. Yeah, so I actually made some really good money off of him. <laughs> Only guy that's actually fallen for that. But uh, he, yeah, he came to me and said, I want to I wanna be part of those. I want to I wanna mess around for an episode. I'm like... Well, if you're it's your funeral. funeral. All right. So, yeah. And um, it's funny because we give M.A. Larson a hard time, whether it's on Twitter or, or here. It's or all not. good fun. It's like messing with, like, it's like the he's, uncle yeah, he, with nephew. Uncle Larson. It's like, he's he's just a hilarious guy. He, um, he rolls with it. He's a great, great sport. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that's the answer to that question. And then Lauren Faust. Actually, uh, she also asked me, but I turned her down because yeah. I'm like, who's honestly, would anyone want to see Lauren Faust? <laughs> I'm joking, <laughs> right? I see people like people grabbing crack, their backs their knuckles. <laughs> what? <laughs> Say it again. No, I don't ever foresee that ever happening in the future, <laughs> but uh, that would be one heck of an achievement. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But um, no, Lauren's, Lauren's really cool. She, uh, we run into her almost literally, literally. <laughs> a few times. <laughs> Um, one time we were sword fighting with balloons. balloons. I feel like that was necessary to clarify. Um, Have you guys ever seen our the, the video? Do you guys know that story? Is there uh, anyone who doesn't know that story? All right. Uh, so basically, Race and I were in the elevator here at BabsCon last year. Lauren Faust was a guest of honor at the convention last year. And she's the one who, for those who don't know, uh, basically starred in G4 Model Pony, the show that we watched today. And when we were going up the elevator, Race and I had these big old long balloons and we're like lightsabers making loud noises and we're just acting like children and then I'm like wouldn't it be funny if the elevator door opens and Lauren Faust is there ha! And, and then we keep smacking each other then a few seconds later it opens up and Lauren's like hello and I was and I felt mortified I was like mm. you can actually see there's a video of this it's called race those? and saber finally meet Lauren Faust my soul <laughs> leaves my body <laughs> <laughs> the disbelief. Now, what's funny is that there was a preceding event that happened at EQLA where <laughs> Saber uh, had. We saw Lauren riding down an escalator, and you know we we're like, I was like, I was like, I want to say hi to her, but I don't want to be like that guy who's, you know, she's obviously going somewhere, so I don't want to like detain her or anything with my nerdiness. And I had a little plastic cup I was drinking out of. And I was like, Lauren, uh, yeah. And you guys are like, what's wrong? And I'm like, well, I, I don't want to make a fool of myself. And by the way, at the convention, Bonnie Zacherle, she's the lady who started My Little Pony as the toy, the, 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 the grandma. Lauren, Lauren looks up to her. Yeah. Like, like she's like, and this is Bonnie's first convention. You know, so we're all being really kind, like, oh, it's Bonnie, and welcome to the Bernie fandom. Uh, you know, it's a weird experience, but have fun. So we're walking towards the elevator, and they're like, so why didn't you talk to Lauren? I'm like, well, I don't want to make a fool of myself! And I take the cup, and I throw it on the ground, and, like, just joking, but it shattered. And as the, as the cup's shattering, but imagine the elevator doors opening. <laughs> to Bonnie. To Bonnie, wearing flip-flops. Just looks down. And shattering pieces flung across her feet, and me on the ground mortified, and I hear her say, what the heck? <laughs> and I'm like, this is the one con she's showing up at, and I just threw a plastic cup, shattered at her feet, like, Nick! <laughs> and, uh, didn't mean this to say, I, it was, I, I, this family said he's liberating, helps me be more outgoing, and like, I don't care, live a good life and have fun. But I felt my heart just, <laughs> into my stomach. 
And like, I just made the biggest fool of myself to a lady who created My Little Pony. <laughs> that was a fun day. Good times. Good times. We've had some moments. But uh, yeah, hopefully that answers your question. <laughs> Thanks. Hello. Hello. Um, you guys survived the fight. So it's epic I battle. I can't keep an eye on this one. Good. Neither. Yes, but Neither. under under the wig and makeup, my name is Keyframe. Nice to meet you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Uh, first, Golden Fox says hello. Nice. He's doing he's doing real well. We got a new apartment and everything. Oh, congratulations! He wishes he could be here. Aww. Um, my question, because it's been eating at me ever since I've watched the video. G three, my little uh, bronies <laughs> react. The ending. <laughs> Was this something that like? Saber called you at 2 a.m. on Skype being like, I have an idea for an ending that involves me being a piss smoker Pinkie Pie. Yeah, that's when... That, <laughs> oh, wait, is it? I, I, I lose track. Is this the one where I, like... That's, it's, you the have one, like it's the one where you're like, Georgia. Uh, oh, so I, I, for that Bernie's reaction, that was right, that, that was it, right? The, yes, where it's like, like black and white. You're G3 Pinky. And I know who I need to find. And then Georgia Amati. It's really weird. So like, so I, I just imagine you called Saber on Skype, uh, the AC on Skype, being like, I have an idea. We need a dress. That's about what happened. <laughs> so uh, I started a new job at that time in sales. So I had a little time to record. So I figured I can't sit down and react to an entire episode. So I'm just gonna do a little skit at the end, okay. and and it, I was wearing, wearing my business suit or whatever, and I wore a pink wig, and I decided to be G3.5 Pinkie Pie, but she's out of a job and she's homeless, and she's like, ever since G4 took my job, I've been homeless. So I'm like wandering around like this park where everybody's looking at me like, what's he doing? I'm like, like <laughs> hiding under bushes and jumping over trees and like near creeks, like whacking sticks at the water. And I was trying to turn this into a thing for future brains. I'd be like, it would be a continued story. What was the initial reaction you had to that when you saw the footage? He told me about this idea, to which I'm like, all right, let's see if he actually does it. And now he's made it permanent, by the way. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, and, <laughs> and he sends me this footage. Of, I think one of my favorite was the scenes was when you were taking the stick and you're smacking the paw. You're seeing a person walking in the background. I'm like, yeah, you're smacking the paw. I'm like, hunting for fish. <laughs> it's like the support park goers that day were it's like, like a suburban park where you have people like jogging, like <laughs> running by. Mommy, who's that? Avert your eyes, dear. <laughs> There's oh. the pony people. Well, I, I had no one to film it for me except for like a random friend from school who I haven't talked to in a few years. I'm like, I wonder why. Help me out. He's like, okay. Uh, so that was gonna be a continued gag with Bernie's react, but I never did anything with it. And there's actually another episode where like I went to a portal to Equestria, yeah. and I'm like, this would be a continued thing too, and I never did anything with. It. So I have a bunch of ideas that just kind of like started, never did anything with. Hey, that's the recurring theme. That's, that's yeah. 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 the yeah. thing. You pile. are so consistent. You thank, you, consistent. thank you. It's great. Oh, it's great. Great seeing great you. Great seeing you. Likewise. Take care. And, and we will, we, our goal, we have about five minutes left in this panel, but our goal is to get through all of your questions. All right, let's do the fire, rapid fire round. Let's go. Hi. Uh, Hi. Hey. Hey. So, uh, a couple years ago, there was this uh, small animated film that came out. I think, uh, you probably haven't heard of it. It's called Zootopia. I'd really recommend it. Sounds good. Why? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, uh, Reference to Teen Titans Go. You're welcome. Is there a reference in Teen Titans Go to Zootopia? No, no, reference. Just reference to Z Teen Titans Go right now. This, Teen is, Titans this, Go? this oh. is a reference to Teen Titans Go right now. Subpar. Oh. That's my reference to Teen Titans Go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. All right. Take it. Exactly. <laughs> You're looking snazzy. Yeah, I like your Thank top you. hat. Or is it a top hat or a bowler cap? He's, he's going to go... Uh, the Phantom of the he's Opera. He's going to go Vifo Vendetta. <laughs> Phantom <laughs> of the Opera. <laughs> I have, I have a few cease and desist to get take care of. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Well, it's good seeing you, man. Thank you for your question. Yes. Yes. Bye. Thank you. Take Bye. Care. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Uh, my name's Ben. Uh, do you have any plans for YouTube Red in the future? YouTube what? Red. Red. So I YouTube Red. If as far as I know, is like a. They're a family picture. They don't do that. 18 plus. <laughs> no, no, that's different. <laughs> YouTube Red is a premium way for you to, like, to get rid of advertisements and I guess you have access to like YouTube shows. Uh, so you mean us having our own YouTube shows? Nah, I like to keep it open to everyone to watch. Uh, 
I, uh, I don't think we've even been approached to make a YouTube show. It'd be flattered if we could, but uh, I believe that for both myself and Race, we're going to keep our content premium free for anyone to watch <laughs> without their ad block on. <laughs> But check out my Patreon. Nice get up, by the way. You went all out with the shoes and the socks. Thanks. Excellent. Thank Hello. you. Yeah. I've been watching your videos since 2014. Um, what are your thoughts on the My Little Pony movie teaser? Yeah, the animation for the teaser for My Little Pony movie is like different. Uh, it's a lot more detailed. Now, were you asking specifically about the trailer or the? Uh, Okay, so has anyone? I, I put out a video recently called. Yes, I did, I did you, you saw that? Okay, so where I said the the MLP movie trailer is a mess, and I have so many people contacting me all over, like emailing me, going, "Race, you don't understand." Oh dear. I don't think they watched the video. I think they thought I was like ranting about how like what's wrong with the everything. The shadows look weird. I'm like, no, no, no. You gotta watch the video, please. Watch the video. It's one. literally. The video was fun, by the way, because um, I'm sitting there watching, and the first comment I had when I watched the trailer the first time was, man, there are a lot of sparkles all over the place. And Sarah, my girlfriend, turns to me and goes, we should just throw sparkles at you. So every time like, a, a sparkle transition shows up, Sarah, his girlfriend, takes sparkles and just throws at his face, and you're... <laughs> sparkles it was, we actually had to do it a few times because it... <laughs> The sparkles would like miss my face, and we'd have to pick up all the sparkles. Reload, it was a reload. mess. There's still sparkles. Like I, I pulled out my wallet when I got here, and there were sparkles falling out. So, <laughs> um, to answer your question, the uh, the animation it looks it's it's I think it's going to be interesting to see how it looks in the movie. Um, it's, it, there's not enough to really judge off of because it's like it's only a couple of, of yeah. like, seconds of animation. Yeah. I'm glad they have a bigger budget. I look forward to seeing what they do with it. Yeah, yeah it should you. be fun. All right. I just want to interject I think I heard that the way they animated in the trailer was kind of like a rendering error. I there was a rendering error. Yeah. Apparently it was like a frame rate issue or something. Essentially what it did, as Sarah could explain this better, she's more art than I am, but essentially, for those that didn't know, the trailer was rendered improperly, which is, I'm like, how can you make that mistake? <laughs> the same way the guys who <laughs> up, uh, upload that trailer of, um, oh shoot, The Mummy. Did you guys ever see the trailer for The Mummy? Okay, follow me quickly. So, The Mummy, Tom Cruise is in it. It's a new right. movie where uh, they upload the trailer and there's a scene where they're in an airplane and they get attacked by a bunch of birds and they're like, ah, screaming and everything and, and getting tossed around the airplane. Well, they uploaded a version of it with, without the uh, background audio of the plane. <laughs> so you see them getting tossed around the plane going, ah, ah, and there's no sounds. And uh, YouTubers took that and like started messing with it. Yeah, look it up, it's hella, because the, uh, I think it was Universal, like, well, take the video down, re-upload the other one yeah. with the proper audio. Well, Sarah and I just went to the movies this last week, and the, the render issue is also on the movie theater. <laughs> I'm just That's like, guys, wrong. guys. They're oh, just well. kids, they don't care. Most, I don't think a lot of people are going to look at this and go, man, the, the shadows look weird, but a lot of people have that are, don't even follow the show, so... It's okay. I'm sure we have more trailers to come. That was just a teaser anyways. If it's anything like Hasbro, there'll be multiple trailers. Yes. So we got three to go. All right. My name is The Phoenix. Uh, I just had a quick question, mostly on the party's reaction side of it. We know that uh, we've had a few high-profile people come to contact you, like uh, your, dis your disinterest in having Lauren Faust, apparently. <laughs> she Lauren was probably actually going to contact me. She's like, screw you. <laughs> um, but uh, do you also have a lot of the fan artists that'll contact you asking if they could possibly come on, or? Yes, and that's, um, it, it's a very flattering, I don't want to call it a problem, because it's not a problem, it's just, it's, it's one, I get contacted daily. I get about between 20 to 50 contacts daily, um, whether people and email Will you me. respond to my email race, please? No, not you. Um, it, it's hard to respond to everyone, which is why I like addressing it like at you know, panels and whatnot, and being able to say, hey, so uh, this is why. Because I get so many contacts, um, I'm not able to you know, bring everybody in, and so it's, it's partially I have to do you know, uh, some picking and choosing. Um, but yes, I get contacted by a lot of people. If anyone's ever asked me to be in a Bronies rack and I didn't respond, I apologize. I promise you it wasn't personal. It wasn't me going, mm, I'm not going to respond to you. I just get it a lot and I don't have time to respond to everybody. 
but yeah, I do get a lot of uh, requests. And like I said, it's very flattering, the fact that uh, people want to do it. And I love that it has actually spawned other React series in the yeah. band. So. Thank you for your question. Thank you. All right, we'll get you guys. What's up? What's your biggest regret? <laughs> so I became a broning. Hello, <laughs> fuck. No, really. Uh, I don't know. Like, you know, I've had... I've set Why myself, did I vote for him? Why? Why? <laughs> I've set myself up for some really big regrets. Like, if those, for those that don't know, I was on the Steve Harvey show recently as a brony. But I went into it going, I'm going to have fun with this. Like, I don't... Is the haircut kind of the regret? Uh, the hair, okay, you know, yeah, the haircut was kind of a regret. They gave him like a bowl cut on purpose to fit their narrative of Bernie's are weird. And he's, he's like, like, do do your worst. They gave me a vest. I'm like, everyone that knows me is like, what are you wearing? Like some Gunther kid from like Willy Wonka. Like, <laughs> like, like I love my little pony. <laughs> to our German person in the audience, let me know if no yeah. offense to you. Thank but, you for your question. <laughs> And last question, what's up? Hello. Hello, Slate Rush Mark and AC Rest Best. How are Thank you? you. I love you. Guys, uh, I got one question for each of you. Uh, for Saber Spark, uh, uh, I noticed that you're now like uh, doing some analysis videos now. Uh, are there any more stuff that you would like to analyze? Oh, there's a lot. I have a big backlog on Google Docs. So I'm like, I'm gonna hit this, this, this. Like, I want to talk about Don Bluth. I want to talk about uh, Blue Sky and Illumination. And I'm gonna do like history reviews of what like, reviews, but like you know, talk about Cartoon Network and Disney Channel, Nickelodeon, talk about their history, just nerdy cartoon stuff. So yeah. that's been fun. I've been enjoying that uh, that brand of content. Yeah, I love that one. Thank you so much. Yeah. And for easy, uh, are you like uh, in the works on uh, doing uh, Bronies React for this upcoming season seven and the MLP movie when it's available on home video? So, uh, oh, there's the, the, yeah, home video. I can't, I love that we're ending on this. I can confirm that we are already ramping up and getting ready for a Bronies React to the season seven premiere. So, that will be coming. And, and we do have a Bronies React panel tomorrow, so come on out, guys. We'll be answering a lot more questions. There'll be a couple more of us on stage. Um, as far as the movie goes, I plan on it, but it is going to be a little bit different because Lionsgate is the people I have to deal with. Right. So we'll see how that goes. But as far as it goes, the plan is to do it. It's just how long will it be on YouTube? We'll all find out together. So thank you for your last question. Thank you. Thank you all for your questions. We want to thank you guys for coming out to our panel. And we will see you around the convention. Enjoy BatsCon 2017. Take care, guys. See ya.